Well, at age 31, Kiki Palmer has already written her second book about wow. her life. That's our first hot topic brought to you by How the Grinch Stole Christmas at Walton Art Center. Goals. I know, 31. Yeah. So in her upcoming book, Master of Me, The Secret to Controlling Your Narrative, Palmer actually breaks her silence on her unhealthy relationship with her ex, Darius Jackson, writing, quote, it was the hardest thing I ever had to go through. Now these days, thankfully, she has found forgiveness and peace. In fact, she said, quote, I'm so proud of him and happy for him. Um, so he actually recently entered the military. Okay. And so about that, she said, quote, I feel very at ease now knowing things are under control. So Master of Me comes out November 19th, and it's available for pre-order now. She's 31 years old. She already yeah. has two, two books. books. And she, I mean, she is like spitting out projects, too. Absolutely. She's Film incredible. projects, producing, uh, doing a whole a whole lot. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And obviously more still to come. Yeah. I just love her. I think she's so cool. I love that she's so open and vulnerable. I do, and, too. Yeah. yeah cool yeah, Talking about all that. Well, speaking of being open and vulnerable, James Vanderbeek has revealed that he has colorectal cancer. Mm. The 47-year-old Dawson's Creek star said... I've been privately dealing with this diagnosis and have been taking steps to resolve it with the support of my incredible family. There's reason for optimism, and I'm feeling good. Despite the diagnosis, Vanderbeek said he uh, actively has been working as he navigates his care. He recently appeared on an episode of Walker, and he is next set to star in Sidelined, The QB and Me, a Tubi original film coming out November 29th. The actor has also been prioritizing time with his family. We're certainly wishing him the very best in his recovery. Um, yeah, makes sense about the the QB and me uh, mm -hmm. show with his, uh, you know, uh, his his role as quarterback. Right, right. Varsity Blues. Yes. So uh, great, um, great actor, and we're wishing the best. Yes, absolutely. I'm glad he's optimistic as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Well, multi-talented music titan Quincy Jones has sadly passed away. His publicist said that he passed last night at his home in Bel Air, surrounded by his family. Now, in a joint statement, his family said, quote, although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the great life that he lived and know that there will never be another like him. Jones left a vast legacy that ranged from producing Michael Jackson's historic thriller album to writing prize-winning film and television scores. He also collaborated with Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles, and hundreds of other recording artists. He was 91 years old. And you know what? They're absolutely right. I mean, there will never be another oh, Quincy man. Jones. Oh, man. He did so much for the music industry. Yes. Elevated so many artists, as well as, obviously, bringing his name to the forefront in the public eye. But yeah. what a guy. What a, what a legend. Absolutely legend. Sad to see him go, but mm -hmm. we can still sort of celebrate his legacy by listening to those tunes. Listening to his You know, great, it's that yeah. time of year for Thriller. Uh, exactly. You know, I know Halloween's just passed, but I, we heard that. It was trending uh, like number it's one It's iconic. Recently. So absolutely so iconic. iconic yeah well check this one out sticking with some music news morrissey is way too popular for his own good and the proof is what went down saturday tonight that caused him to abruptly pull the plug on his own concert morrissey was performing at the fair parks music hall in dallas and the show went great until the encore he returned to the stage to sing first of the gang to die when a fan hopped on stage to get close to him then a copycat goes in for a hug, and Morrissey's bodyguard nervously tries to monitor the situation. Another fan does the same, and another, and another Ugh. fan after fan jumps onto the stage. But the final straw was a dude who bolted up, and it got way too crazy. So Morrissey was rushed off the stage for this. As you see in this footage right here from Instagram, it was just kind of... Um, it was nuts. It was a melee there. It's at the insane. Show. I know we've talked about this a handful of times, yes. but I cannot get over people's concert behavior. I am with you. Uh, from throwing stuff on stage to when that was kind of trending. To I mean, hopping what is up, that? throwing to yourself just on stage. Going up there on stage. I uh, would never. I would never even think to do that. No, I, I know. I, I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad that he's okay. Yeah, but um, that looked scary. But it did look scary. Yeah, I can't imagine. Well, Selena Gomez has responded to body shamers yet again on social media. This poor girl, is she's no stranger to online scrutiny, but she spoke out this week about some comments about her body. So her response was posted in a comment on TikTok after users shared photos from her premiere of her new film, uh, Amelia Perez. So in photos of the event, she looks absolutely stunning in a black dress, as she always does, uh, but she does have her hands up in several pictures over her torso. Now, her supposed fans commented on the pose, insinuating that she was hiding her body in some way. 
But Gomez replied pretty quick. She said, quote, this makes me sick. I have SIBO in my small intestine and it flares up. I'm just human. <sighs> you know, I, I, sh I, I had to talk about this because I love yeah. Selena Gomez. And the poor girl has dealt with all of these health issues, yes. and yet we're still making Piling comments about. I mean, just she's just Behave a person. Behave yourselves, yeah, right? It's weird. I know it is weird, but she is doing so many amazing she things. Is. Only murders in the building. Amelia Perez, if you don't know, it's picking up a lot of Oscar buzz right now. Yes, and then her new Wizards of, Wizards something, of Waverly, Waverly Place. show, yeah, absolutely. absolutely on Disney Plus, or the new Wizards of Waverly Place, or however they're rebooting right. it. Right, I think it's, it's out. beyond. Yeah, beyond that's Wizards. That's what it is. That's yeah. It. yeah, so she's got a lot of irons in the fire right now. During a recent appearance on the rent-free game show, Martha revealed that her next-door neighbor is none other than Ryan Reynolds. This blew my mind. <laughs> That's right. Ryan and Martha are neighbors. And that, despite his supposed reputation as an on-screen funny man, she doesn't think he's very humorous face-to-face. -face. <laughs> the lifestyle guru said, quote, No, he's not so funny. He's very serious. She added, He's a good actor. He can act funny, but he isn't funny. Maybe he can get to be funny again. <laughs> Now, we all know that Ryan loves to keep a bit going in the public eye, so it's not too much of a surprise that he recently responded to Martha. He wrote on X, quote, I disagree with her, but I tried that once. The woman is unexpectedly spry. <laughs> oh, that's so great. So, I love it when they get into a feud. That's yes. obviously not a feud, but it's fun for the public to kind and of Martha's partake. And Martha's really playful. I think oh, it's yeah. hilarious. Yes, I love that they're neighbors. Yes. Well, this is pretty wonderful news. Jessica Simpson is celebrating seven years of sobriety. So in an Instagram post, she posted a black and white selfie with a caption that read, quote, seven years ago today, I walked myself into the light of being alcohol free. She began her sobriety journey back in 2017. Um, and she, she ended up saying uh, that cu cu cutting alcohol out of her life, she has accepted all parts of her life, adding, Quote, I'm wildly honest and comfortably open. I am free. I oh. say congratulations. Yeah, congrats, I think that's Jess. wonderful. That's amazing.